one of my subscribers, Jazzhead, asked for an update on the Susan Shore DIY device maybe six years ago. I'm not selling anything and I'm also not sharing any plans, so I'm not gonna violate any patent information, but you can certainly work with me on this. So as you know that I talked about this in 2015 based on stress and based on some TMJ and some jaw stuff, Invisalign, who knows what it was. I have this buzz in my head that goes away. I think it's rooted in stress and possibly glutamate, but I wanted to give an update and be really honest and transparent about some stuff. It is really important for you to understand that the more that you think about this, the more you think about tinnitus, the more it is going to be present. That goes for any pain, for any anxiety, anything that you have. So people with audio trauma that potentially had a gun explode or were in the military don't necessarily get tinnitus that buzz or ringing inside of your head. So really when it comes down to it is my belief that there is a psychological cofactor in all of this. There's certainly it with diet and sleep because almost everyone, even if you GBT this now, now that we have AI, you will find, find that sleep deprivation, not getting a good sleep, is directly related to higher degree of headache intensity and tinnitus or some type of phantom sound. So I wanted to give an update on this device. So since I posted that video encouraging other people to go out and explore this because Susan Shore was not really surfacing anything from Oracle, the patent that she got for the federal grant with University of Michigan, hey, maybe we need to put this into our own hands. And that's exactly what has happened. You can now go in GBT chat and just say, create me an Arduino-based device or an ESP device for bimodal stimulation to eliminate tinnitus. Now, what's important is obviously whether or not it's safe or whether or not it works or there's other factors in it, that's a whole nother discussion. That is really up to you, but you can completely get all the code and make it yourself. I took what I knew and I built an ESP-based device. This is a 3D printed case that I made. And inside of it are all the components that I put together that have basically an ESP board. It has the, the sound, the tens, the stimulus, all the programming, everything that I need for it to work. I went ahead and made it a case that I can walk around with. So I can actually mix other type of things to make Make it effective. Okay, so if you leave with anything from this video on the update of this device, it is completely possible the person that would need the device that would develop that has tinnitus or needs something, even if the device was placebic, they would need to know electronics. They would need to know how to build basic circuitry. They would need to know about programming and using an oscilloscope. I want to let you know that there is a lot of people working on this and if it is going to work, and I'll explain to you how, if this is working for me in a second, there are so many things that I'm putting together in terms of all the diet and meditation and everything that has helped. Don't discount heart rate variability. I have a device right here. It is a heart rate variability therapy tool. And what this does is it puts you out of fight or flight, okay? This is what is really important. You get a device like this, a bimodal tinnitus device based on Susan Shore's research. Get your hands on that, okay? Make sure that you're not in fight or flight when you're using it. People don't learn when they're scared. They don't learn because your body is not prioritizing that neuroplasticity, what you need for that sound to go away. You need a new channel for you not to be afraid of it. So use a device like this, and I'll link this below, that you can calm and breathe and think of positive thoughts during your therapy. One of the benefits is walking while doing it. This clips to your ear and it monitors whether or not you are in fight or flight. Light. Now, since I'm making this video right now, and I'm going to turn this on, there is a red, a green, and a blue light. If, the, if it's red, one of the lights will say whether or not it's getting a heart rate. If it is red, it means that I am in fight or flight. 
If it becomes blue or green, that means I am in a learning mode. That is the time to use a tinnitus device like this, which will change some of your circuitry. I'm not gonna go into that because I'm not Susan Shore. You can go and Google all of that information. So you can see here that I'm blue, which I'm in a pretty good state. I'm not in fight or flight. So whether or not you find yourself a Reddit thread where you're building your own device, or if you find someone that knows electronics to build a device, make sure that you're not in fight or flight. And the fact is that you are in a parasympathetic, which is the relax and digest form of your nervous system as opposed to a fight or flight. So one of the things that you need to understand about this device is I believe with anything else like affirmation, you need to believe that something is going to work. You need to believe it. You have to be positive. It's a marathon. It is not a sprint. I feel very blessed that I was able to make one of these for me and I'm not making them for anyone else but I'm here to encourage other people and would be willing to work and help and teach electronics. But the fact of the matter is, is that this works. It works for me. Does it take 10 of this away? No, and let me tell you why. Based on diet and poor sleep, my body has learned to basically go to dependable. So maybe it's a version of OCD or anxiousness. My body has a tendency to say, oh, I guarantee you I can produce that sound. I've learned. So maybe over a period of time, and if stay connected and whatever else, maybe over a period of time, this will work permanently, but I don't need it to because I've just got happy. It's gone down enough and it feels good and it goes away that this feels really good, even if it's a crutch. Just like you, if you got an MRI scan and they say, hey, you have no anatomically incorrect objects or tumors or anything in your head, relax. Maybe just relaxing alone will help you out. If you wanna meet with me or connect with me below and I would be happy to talk with you, not selling advice or sharing any plans, you can actually Google that or have ChatGBT do that right now. Whatever you do, make something that connects someone and I'm telling you, we are heading in great directions right now.